Hey gear seekers, I'm Nick. MSI sent over one of their RTX 3070 Supreme Xs for us to check out, so we decided to run it through our regular suite of benchmarks on both Windows and Linux and see how this card stacks up against some other GPUs that we've had through the studio lately. Let's get into it. As far as availability of the 3070 Supreme X, from what I've seen, there is zero stock here in Australia. However, other 3070s here are not that hard to come by and you can pick up one quite easily, but I can't speak for the rest of the world as a filming, but I have seen a few 3070s become available on Amazon US, but those prices are pretty hugely inflated. With that said, there's a lot of data to unpack with this video and there's also chapters in all of our videos and especially videos like this. So if you wanna to jump to a certain section of a video, it's as easy as mousing over the progress bar or checking out the timestamps in the video description. Also, make sure you watch this entire video to get the context of what we're trying to say in this video. These are the out of the box figures for this GPU. All of our GPU videos are designed to be this way because a vast majority of people will never overclock their GPUs and this is indicative of real users. For people who want to know how this card overclocks I'll probably cover it in a build video or we'll come back to this in a separate video because there's lots of other stuff that we need to do with this GPU first. We also don't have any Radeon 6800s or a 3070 Founders Edition for comparison either. Let's get the benchmarks and comparisons out of the way first. These graphs are weighted based on the performance of the cards that we're not focusing on from our entire database. We also included a bunch of other 3070s that we've tested in the past as well. Anyways, uh, some people don't like it, but that's what works for us. We used our regular test bench as well, and this is to give you guys accurate results based on all of the testing that we've done with all of the GPUs shown in this video. So let's kick it off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You can use the magical pause button down below anytime in the video to take a look at the graphs for a little bit longer. The first thing you're probably noticing is that at 1080p in Windows, the Supreme X is on par with the Gigabyte 3070. As usual with Linux and Vulkan performance, it's better at 1080p than it is with Windows. And this is usually the case as well, and you're seeing this with all of the other cards on this graph as well. The Supreme X beats out the Gigabyte card by just a few frames. Comparing Windows to Linux performance, Linux comes out on top once again, and this is pretty normal for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. At 1440p, we're seeing the Supreme X be the fastest 3070 we've tested so far. If we look at Linux, we're seeing that at 1440p, the Supreme X is only a single frame slower than the Gigabyte card. And if we compare Windows and Linux, we're seeing that again in Linux, it outperforms Windows. All right, let's move on to Unigen and Superposition. For Superposition, we performed three tests in total. We use a 4K optimized preset, a 1080p extreme preset, and a custom 1440p preset with depth of field and motion blur disabled. We sometimes get comments along the lines of us using the stock OpenGL implementation versus DX11 for comparison. Again, we're only comparing the out of the box experience only. First up, 1080p Extreme. This one's highly GPU bound and we're seeing the MSI RTX 3070 Supreme X beat out the 2080 Ti by a single frame. In Linux with OpenGL, it doesn't perform as well and we've said this multiple times with the different versions of the kernel, you can use different drivers, it really doesn't matter. And with the 3070 Supreme X, we're seeing some pretty decent results here. In 1440p in Windows, the Supreme X performs about the same as the Gigabyte 3070 and is just behind the 2080 Ti. In Linux at 1440p, the MSI card is equal in performance to the Gigabyte card but is behind the 2080 Ti. Then if we compare Windows to Linux, we're seeing that as usual in Linux, the performance with Superposition is behind Windows. At 4K in Windows, we're seeing the Supreme X come in just behind the 2080 Ti. In Linux at 4K, the Supreme X is behind the 2080 Ti again. If we compare Windows to Linux at 4K, we're seeing the same result again being echoed with Windows beating out Linux. Next up is Basemark GPU. Basemark gives us a great indication of Vulkan performance in both Windows and in Linux as well.
ran our one hour stress test in Fermark and we couldn't get the MSI RTX 3070 Supreme X above 63 degrees in our 18 degree climate controlled office. This result is actually pretty good, but it's got a lot to do with that cooler. This is definitely one of MSI's best cooling solutions yet in both looks and in performance. But also be aware that, again, we're running this on an open air test bench and the results in a closed system will most likely be far different from what we observed in this video. We include this result because our open air test environment is consistent and we do it this way with every single GPU across the board. So you are getting some pretty accurate results. As far as power consumption at idle, it was drawing around 15 watts of power and we observed it hitting a board power draw maxing out at around 279 watts at full load over a period of one hour. We also observed the 3070 Supreme X to be silent with zero coil wine over our stress testing period. You have to remember again, on an open air test system, you're gonna hear absolutely everything. In a closed system, you'll most likely never hear this card at all. Now we use these acoustic observations because it makes way more sense for a normal user since most of those numbers just don't make sense to the regular punter. Acoustics are only really tangible if a device is sitting right next to you at that point in time, otherwise a number doesn't really mean that much. What makes this card different to the Founders card though? The first thing you'll notice is it uses two 8-pin PCIe power connectors instead of that newer 12-pin connector. It also has an optional BIOS switch on the card for switching between silent operation and gaming operations. And as usual, we always test it in its faster state, so we tested it in the gaming state. The overall size of this card is quite large for a 3070, maybe a little bit too large. It's a full three slot card that measures around 335 millimeters in length. It's got RGB on the card too that could be controlled in Mystic Light. It's pretty standard stuff in 2021. There is quite a bit of RGB on this card though. It's got accents next to the fans and on the side of the card as well as the backplate. Aesthetically, I'm liking this design quite a bit. It feels a lot more premium than other 30 series cards that we've tested. The materials have a very nice finish. However, you are paying for those premium touches. As far as pricing, the MSI RTX 3070 Supreme X is going for around 629 US dollars or around 1,169 Australian dollars at the time of filming. Obviously, this is subject to availability, which at the time of filming this video, again, is near zero. But again, as I always say with all these GPU videos, the Australian pricing is about $300 higher than it should be. And I'm gonna keep talking about this forever. And from the comments we've seen, a lot of you guys who live outside the US, you're also getting reamed by the pricing as well. Now, here's something I wanna do. Let us know in the comments how much the 3070 Supreme X is going for in your region with a price conversion to US dollars. I'm, I'm pretty curious to see who is getting gouged the most for these GPUs. I don't know why, I just wanna see the, the difference in pricing. What do you guys think about the MSI RTX 3070 Supreme X? Honestly, I really like the design. I like how it looks. It's one of those cards that really stands out. However, the price just isn't great. You have to really be an MSI fan if you want that cohesive look in your system. The only reason why I'm saying this is for about $100 Aussie dollar it is more, you can get yourself a 3080. Now, it won't be the best 3080 ever, but it'll be a 3080. I mean, you would be able to get a 3080 if there was stock, which there isn't in almost every single region. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do, hit that dislike button twice. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick, with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. Let us know what you guys think about it. It's, it's sitting over there. And let us know what you think of my new office setup. I actually did a video with like the building of this. It's now more complete than it was when I filmed that video. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching.